first line of code I think I ever ever wrote was probably was probably making the turtle go around in the logo in like seventh grade. It's just a turtle in the middle of the screen, and then you type commands and you can make the turtle move around, and you can say uh, go in a line or take a left or take a right. But it was just typing commands and make the turtle move around, you can change colors. It's pretty advanced. <laughs> My name is Dennis Crowley. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Foursquare. Everyone has ideas for things that should exist in the world. Historically, it's been a very steep learning curve and a really high bar to actually go and build those things. Everything that's going on now in 2015, you know, you can assemble little bits of code or software like you would Lego blocks, and you can make really complicated things pretty quickly. I wrote the early prototypes for Foursquare with help from friends. Um, the stuff I write is not very elegant, but it was enough to get the point across, enough to scrap a prototype together, and I think just enough to show real engineers, hey, I've got this idea, this is how it works, can you help me make something awesome out of it? Now, this is the first piece of code um, for Foursquare. I would guess that I wrote this in late 2008. The big idea being, uh, if you had all this information about where people had been um, because they had checked in, could you use that to make a list of all the places that are popular with my friends that I have never been to before? The stuff I'm, I wrote here is not scalable, and so like the version of Foursquare that I built really early on could only support like 5,000 people using it and the whole thing would crash. But it's like a good example of you just hack some stuff together and it gets the point across. And now that I'm looking at it, this is more complicated than I thought like a minute ago. Yeah, this is, this is awful. This would, <laughs> this would crash. This probably took a really long time to run. There's a stereotype about, you know, writing code or doing any type of engineering to be, like, extremely difficult. I think there's probably a lot of people that are afraid of it. They see, you know, like, green text on a black computer screen, and they're like, oh my gosh, it's the Matrix, I can't possibly code that. But, like, people should understand that it's a very powerful way to prototype ideas and really take ideas that are in your head and, and make them into something that other people can experience.